This is Kelsey. They really want us back? Okay, I'll tell him. I think I know just where he is. Hey, Jason, you never believe what happened. They want us to do the show again. They want you back. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's great. I'll see you later. Hey, where are you going? I gotta get a couple things. I'll see you at the studio. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Hey, Mayor Licky, sorry to bother you. This is just gonna take a second. I'm running late for the show. Can I borrow your jacket? Well, sure, anything for South Bend's finest citizen, Jason. Uh, actually, I'm from Mishawaka, but Kelsey's from South Bend. Whatever. Chuck Freedy, what are you doing in our opening skit? Well, it says here in the contract that I signed that I have to be in every year of night shift. I just want to get done and over with. All right, well, I gotta go. What is that smell, host boy? <laughs> Hey, May Ray, sorry to barge in on you like this, but our show is just about ready to start, and I don't have a tie. Do you happen to have an extra one I can borrow? Um, I think I can help you. Anything for one of Mishwaka's finest citizens. Whatever. Hey, this is going to work great. Thank you very much. I'll get it back to you. Oh, gosh, one more year of these guys. Beautiful all day long, and warmer temperatures will move in for the weekend. And I, sorry, guys. Hey, Hi, Trisha. Hi, Gordy. Jason. Hi. Big shows tonight, and I'm sorry. I, I just forgot my microphone. Gordy, if you don't mind, I'm going to grab this from you. And thank you very much. I'll bring it back. I promise. I've been waiting 10 years for someone to take that mic away from him. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, Mayor Miller, sorry to bother you. I know you're busy, but there's a, my show is starting, and I just need a favor from you. Do you mind? No, not at all. Anything for Elkhart's finest citizen. <laughs> all right, it'll just take a second. I really appreciate it. So how much would you like off? Oh, just a little bit on the sides. How about a mohawk? <laughs> From the heart of Michiana, it's the Night Shift. Please join us live tonight as we welcome from the River City Family Theater's production of Nonsense Amen, Jerry O'Boyle and Paul Hamp, plus Rock 107 WIRX DJ Shelly Morgan, and all night the music of River Road. So now sit back, relax, get yourself a glass of water, and do whatever it takes to make yourself comfortable, and welcome your favorite host boy, Jason Eric Moomaw. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to the Night Shift. My name is Jason Eric Mumaw. I'll be your host for tonight. Uh, tonight is, is the start of our third season and, and this year we are live, as you can tell. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, I guess the thinking behind going live versus taping the show, well, no evidence. <laughs> I know, you know. In television, we just had our May sweeps. Yeah, and what that usually means is that this is a time when all the networks pull out their best programming to boost their ratings. Yeah, it, it's over now, which explains why we're back on the air. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, now, yeah, I just heard about this just, just recently in the news. Apparently, Sylvester Stallone will be making another Rambo movie. Yeah. Seriously. Now, now you know, Sylvester Stallone is around 60 years old. Now, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to see what Rambo does with some Viagra in him. <laughs> that, I, that's not a movie I want to see. Right. Well, did you hear about this one? Kelly Osborne, the daughter of heavy metal rocker Ozzy Osborne, has released a new album, and they say that she pretty much reinvented herself reinvented herself. Don't you kind of have to invent yourself before you can reinvent yourself? <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, I thought this was interesting. A recent study interpreted specific gestures repeatedly used by President Bush. Now, for instance, when President Bush, when President Bush squints, it means he's irritated. When he uses a hand gesture, he's feeling confident. And when he thumps his chest twice, he's giving a shout out to his homie. So, <laughs> I'm glad there was a study done on that. Well, we have another great show tonight, and here to tell you all about it, 
the only man who has it in his contract to not have to wash his hands before returning to work, <laughs> Mr. Kelsey Zumbering. Kelsey? Thanks, Jason. That's right. We have a great big show tonight and a lot to get to, but I do want to mention we need you, Michiana, every Thursday night to come down to the WNIT studio and be part of the Night Shift studio audience. You can contact the station or visit at WNIT.org to find out how. But joining us tonight will be Jerry O'Boyle and Paul Hampt from the River City Family Theater production of Nonsense Amen. Plus, we have an interview with Rock 107 WIRX DJ Shelly Morgan. And all night, the music of River Road. Guys? a whole band, a couple songs a little bit later on in the show. Uh, like we said, Kelsey said earlier, here we are going to have Jerry O'Boyle and Paul Hamp. They're from the River City Family Theater. They're going to be doing something about here a little bit later on. And also we got an interview with Shelly Morgan that we did at our Acorn Live show. Uh, we did that a couple weeks ago. We're going to show you a little bit of, it, of that. I do want to uh, mention something here. Um, I got to WNIT, oh, about five years ago, back in 1999. And one of the guys that was here, uh, his name is Rodney Jernis. Rodney's leaving WNIT, and I just wanted to take this time to... Uh, say goodbye to Rodney. Thanks for everything that he's done. Uh, he just showed me how to do. Yeah. I know. I know Kelsey. Who, who went to school with him? Kelsey, any thoughts on Rod? Yeah, I wouldn't be here either if it wasn't for Rodney. We graduated from college together, and uh, he was my foot in the door here. So it's always good to know somebody, and uh, I'm glad to have known him. Well, we really wish Rodney the best, and, and I'm sure we'll see him down the road. Um, now, I do want to mention, Kelsey mentioned it also, too, that we do have the studio audience in here. We're live. That's right. And we're live. We're live right now. We're live in the studio. So on a Thursday night, you don't have anything to do. Well, we need you to come on down here to the studio and be a part of here. Make some noise. Do whatever. You can come in here and make fun of us. We, we don't care. We just need people in here to have a good time on, on a Thursday night. So check out the WNIT.org website to uh, find out how you can do that or just give us a call. Um, also, I wanted to mention something. We haven't been on for quite a while. And uh, back in January, Johnny Carson passed away. And so tonight, we're going to pay our little bit of a tribute to it. Instead of my normal mug, I'm going to use my Johnny Carson mug tonight. So that's a kind of a tribute. And also, if they can see, I don't know if anybody get a shot of this, I got my Johnny Carson tie on tonight. So, so that's our little tribute to Johnny. We're thinking about him still. Now, if you've never seen the show, we've been on for the pet. We've, this is the start of our third season. Right. And so we've, we've done two seasons. We were on Sunday night, we were on Friday night, we're all over the place, but now we're on Thursday nights. And if you've never seen the show, you've never seen what we're up to, well, here's a video clip of what we've done over the past two seasons. Before we got the night shift, we started to do in some other shows. The Mashed Potato Hour with Jason Eric Mulan. Jason knows all about mashed potatoes. Even his eating technique will impress you. All the way down race it. Oh. Come on. There they go. Oh, it's a runaway. Oh, wow. Everything looks cool in slow motion. OK, our first thing we have tonight is, OK, here I am. I'm walking down the street, right? You know, nothing cool about that at all. Here, look at this. Now, now, there you go. That's cool. Look at my, OK. Oh, yeah. You got to stay around for this one. Because this, we're going to slow this down, add some music. And just like I said, everything looks cool in slow motion. What we're going to do here is Kelsey's going to be throwing footballs from one stair landing down the hallway, as you can see. Why don't we go ahead and uh, try one here, Kelsey? OK, here we go. First one. Here it comes. Oh! Did he get it? Did he get it? He got it on the first one. First shot. I to stay in shape, all you need to do is eat pickles. <laughs> oh, no. You see these? What? The I get these it? all the time. Well, I brought my mouse, so I'll start, see if I can click some of these off. There we go. And there we go. And, uh-huh. And the greatest casino on the net. That's the one that's always bothering me the most. Hello. 
and welcome to the Every Man's Guide to Calling in Sick when you're not really sick. <laughs> Have a good one day illness lined up. Most bosses won't want to deal with an employee that's been throwing up all night. What's that sound? What that one Bog is? Horn. Yeah. Well, no, no. It's uh, it's the new burrito sale going on at Taco Bell. <laughs> well, that's not a joke. <laughs> now that's a joke. Too bad I don't know the punchline. We were very uh, fortunate to get David Letterman's son's ultrasound picture. So if we can, let's take a look at this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just very frustrated and upset. Ah, oh, shut up, Bessie. It's the new Chicago team, the Chicago Oprahs. <laughs> Now they just don't beat their opponent, they make them cry. It's the new cheese brand. There, got, there it is. Your body just won't know what to do. And tonight we thought we would do a little bit something different. We got some old, there it is. We, we spruced it up a little bit. So Ooh. we put some stuff behind Kelsey. All right. Well, oh. anytime we come. <laughs> oh. Hallway dodgeball. Oh. the night shift summer of fun so you know we, we do some silly stuff here and that's what we're gonna be doing all night and uh we're just gonna have a lot of fun but you know a lot of celebrities out there they Whoa! are yeah night shift we're they, here they, yes thursday's live baby live they yeah cameras <laughs> yeah uh, hello sir night shift. yes yeah hi uh, hey we're right in the middle of the show we're glad you're enthused huge about fan, the show huge fan look yeah you got you got everything right there and yeah, we're glad you're here, but we're right in the middle of the show. I mean, right, right. sorry, to, I'm not trying to. I'm just excited, man. I'm jazzed to be here. Okay, this uh, is well, awesome. It's well, like my mecca, you know. It's just. <laughs> well, you know, what well, we got you on on the thing here. Uh, tell us a little. You're a big fan of the show. It looks huge like. fan, huge right. fan. I mean, check out the hat, baby. Right. Now, how long you been watching the show? Oh man, ever ever since it first started back when it was on Fridays, and then. Of course, then it moved to Sundays, which was really cool. And now we're on Thursdays. Thursdays! Yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> By the way, when is, when is this going to wrap? i got to catch ER. Um, <laughs> well, you know, we've got a little bit more of the show left to go here. Oh, um, that's cool. Awesome. Yeah. Now, what, what do you like best about the show? Oh, God. It, what can you say? I mean, it, you, you've got the opening skit where, you know, it's like, hey, uh, you know, from the city with the heart. That guy right. is just fantastic. <laughs> you got the live bands, which always gets a crowd pumping. It's just... It's nonstop. The set is looking fantastic. I probably would have done a little more. <laughs> wow. Well, hey, you got some new buildings in there. That's that's all right, I guess. For you. I mean, right. hey, I'm just a fan, you know. I'm, well, what do we, I know? I'm not in the show business. Well, just real quick, do you like the monologue? I mean, that's a popular part yeah, of the show. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was a little sad. It, actually, you know, you came out from behind the curtain. You were look, you, you looked fantastic. You had the power tie on. You know. You get the game face going. You look like you're bringing all this great material, and then you, you start talking. And then I'm, it, I'm sensing a little hostility. You're, you're still our biggest fan, though, right? Oh, huge, huge! Like when you guys move over to the, when you move over to the desk segment, I mean, you got Kelsey over there. Well, it actually, see, yeah, yeah. That, but it actually just goes to a whole new low. You know what? I'm I mean, gonna I've do had you... better conversation with furniture, but again, I'm just a fan. I don't. You know, so I'm just excited to be here. Well, I'm glad. You know, I'm going to do you a favor tonight. You know, I'm going to I'm going to give you my autograph. Why don't you come on up here and what? I, wait, wait, I'll what? What? What do you think I am? Huh? What? What is this? Oh God! You're going to give me your autograph? Oh great! That's all I need is a TV show guy's autograph. You know that's the problem with hosts. You know they think they're the center of the universe. Here's them. Here's the universe right around them. You know what? I don't need your your, your merchandise, your night shift mugs, your hat. I don't need any of this, host boy. You can take all this. I'm out of here. Forget it. Forget it. I'm done. Wow. I'm done. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Some somebody stop him. He's all right. <laughs> well, maybe we can uh, you know make amends with him a little bit later on the show. But as I started to say before I so rudely interrupted, is that celebrities are out, you know, they're making their summer plans. So we're going to do a little segment tonight called What Celebrities Are Doing This Summer. Yeah. All right. First up here, we have George Lucas. There he is. Now this summer, he's counting his money from the Star Wars Episode Three movie. And I guess, yeah, he's going to need it to make, take some more writing and directing. <laughs> Along the same lines, Yoda, 
There he is. I never thought he'd do this, but this summer, well, he's getting one of those queer eye makeovers. So. Yeah, look at him there. And Kirstie Alley this summer, there she is. This summer, oddly, she's planning on relapsing from her diet and actually eating Jenny Craig. So. That's horrible, I don't know, we should be ashamed of ourselves. And Saddam Hussein, well, he's keeping busy this summer. Apparently he's got a new summer job. He's the new hot model for Calvin <laughs> Klein. <laughs> Looks like me. No. All right. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, now there she is. All this summer, well, she'll be working on eating one hamburger. <laughs> See, she's really thin. <laughs> All right, well, next up. Michael Jackson this summer, well, he'll be, he'll be visiting with Martha Stewart to get pointers on decorating very small rooms. <laughs> and how about Britney Spears this summer? She'll be making a tough decision whether to raise her new baby as a NASCAR fan or a wrestling fan. <laughs> so. And also the cast of Desperate Housewives, Housewives uh, this summer, they will be getting ready for their big season two with some very intense and needed month-long Botox sessions. <laughs> and finally, Nick and Jessica Simpson, there they are this summer. Jessica is busy propelling her career with a role as Daisy Duke in her new Dukes of Hazard movie. And Nick, on the other hand, this summer will repeatedly be saying, you want fries with that. <laughs> so there you go, that's the big what the celebrities are doing this summer. You know, we do this show here, but we've seen the huge success that Extreme Home Makeover Home Edition is on ABC. That's it's a big show. People are always touched by the families that they have. So we thought we would do something like that, and we took our camera crew out, but it just didn't go as planned. Here, take a look. Welcome to Extreme Home Redo. Here we are, 6 o'clock in the morning on the front lawn of the Howell family to surprise them with an Extreme Home Redo. They have no idea we're here, so let's wake them up and get them out here. Good morning, Howell family! Time to get up and come on out for your Extreme Home Redo! Come on, Howell family, we know you're in there! Yeah, I'm in here, you get your cameras, your old ratty bus, and get on out of here! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See, we just didn't have the same success, but you know, we keep trying. We're just trying to do good, baby. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we always like to have Kelsey do something, and today it's no different because it's the, near the end of school, and what do kids most want to do near the end of school? Well, they just want to have some fun and do something. So tonight we're going to have a contest. It's the three ring binder toss. Yeah. Okay, if we go on out that WNIT studio doors there, Kelsey, you out there? Yep, I'm here. Okay, I see I've seen the lights coming on and out in there in the parking lot tonight. It's it's a little dark, yeah, but I think, you know, we, we can do some stuff. All right. Tell us what we're going to be doing out there tonight. Okay, school's over. And now, you guys aren't in school still, are you? I am. In school? Uh-huh, yeah? I'm in kindergarten. Oh, good. Okay, what we're going to do is to celebrate school being out is we're going to see who can throw these binders the farthest. So uh, I'm going to give one, everybody, take, take a binder. Okay, so all three contestants will have a chance to throw the binder, and we're looking to see who can get the greatest distance out of just basically chucking a three-ring binder, and this is going to prove basically nothing, right? <laughs> Right, right. We're just going to see who can launch them the farthest. And uh, you want us to go ahead and get started? Yeah, well, let's explain what we're going to do. We've got three contestants. We're going to eliminate one of them. Right. We're going we're gonna, to, whoever's the top two distances, top two distances, will get to the next round, which will be, of course, the finals. And we have great prizes for everyone. Okay, here we go. Okay, you ready? Oh, you're first. We're going to throw, throw out that way. Here we go. And we got Look the at the method. Oh, there it binder. goes. There we go. Good Kelsey. throw, good throw. How do, you, how do you feel about that throw? Uh, All right. I felt that's... my form was a little bit off, but distance okay. was okay. Okay, maybe you guys learned. Here, come on. You're, you're next right here. That was a good toss. There, here's our next contestant. Wow. Whoa, that's going to be hard to hard judge. To tell I don't know. That's, that's pretty close. Okay, one last contestant here. 
Oh. All right, that was more of like a. Those are stick. those are ties. How about I'll I'll measure those out and we'll get back to you the next time to let you know who's in the final. Okay, thank you. We're going to check back in with Kelsey. We're going to narrow that down. We'll get a winner, and we're going to have some uh, uh, special surprises later on with that. So we're just getting started with that. Uh, me and Kelsey did get out. It is summertime. We're glad it's here, and we both enjoy the game of baseball. So we went out and had a little fun night shift style here. Take a look. All right, well, we're really excited. It's finally summertime. You know what that means. It's time for the beach, it's time for barbecues, and time for some baseball. Hey, take me out to the ball game, take me out with the crowd, buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack, I don't care if I never get back, let me root, root for the home team, if they don't win it's a shame, cause it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. All right, Kels, we had a lot of fun playing catch, but there's more to baseball than playing catch. Yeah, I want to hit. Yeah, me too, but let's make it interesting. Okay. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Find me some peanuts and cracker jack. All right, normally when you play baseball or softball, you have one of these guys. Well, that's kind of boring. If you look down here, we just have a tote full of junk and just unusual things. Kelsey's over there. You can see he's got his bats. All right, we're gonna start out nice and easy. Of course, you got a normal softball. We're just gonna use a little bit of a kid's blue ball. So let's see what this looks like. You ready, Kels? Deck of cards. I don't know what this will look like. <laughs> Here's a copy of one of our uh, first shows. That's what most people would want to do with the show. If you're going to do the mouse, well, you got to do the keyboard too. It is summertime, so let's just see how a bag of potato chips does. That's a huge tomato. Look at the size of that thing. Come in, Cole. I'm ready to play today. Look at me. I can be. All right, now this should be pretty interesting. Here is a can of pop. Well, I spent some time in the mudfield night watching it from the fence. You know, I took some loans when the mighty case struck out. Clean that off. Cream style corn. What do you say? About one more whack at it? Alright, I think Kelsey's having way too much fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my swing at it. Great northern beans. We're gonna send them farther north. It's a pot pie. Seeded geranium? I don't know. Anyway, it's a flower. Cool whip, extra. Low fat yogurt. We're on, we're on a diet. I like that. All right, well, we got a few items left here. We're going to get to our big grand finale. I'm going to hand it back on over to Kelsey, and it's going to be pretty interesting. We have a few surprise items left. So let's see get some strikes. Yep. Mustard. You must have the ketchup. Honeydew melon.
rainbow sherbet. All right, Kels, what do you think? We pretty much made a mess here, didn't we? Yeah, but I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Oh, look, this stuff's still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I think we had a lot of fun, didn't we? Yeah. Right. Who are going to get to clean up? I don't know. Well, we had a lot of fun doing that, but my first guests are from the River City Family Theater and with a performance from their current production, Nonsense Amen, please welcome Jerry O'Boyle and Paul Ham. Fellas. Every time you have to face a crisis, who's the one who helps you muddle through? All right, I confess it, yes, the truth is. I couldn't do it without you. Many people think that in a convent, the Reverend Mother's something like a queen. Nothing could be further from the truth here. Shall we show them what I mean? Whatever you say, your highness. <laughs> Hit it! We're just a couple of sisters, plain as we can be. Just a couple of sisters who discovered harmony. Oh, sure, I could go solo. But when two solos get together, they harmonize as one. Done. we just a couple of sisters out here having fun. The mistress of the novices and reverend number one. It's true I am in charge here, but I know I'm not alone. As long as Sister Hubert has her harmonizing tone. I train all the novices and do it on my own. Cause I know reverend mother's near. A stepping stone. A stepping stone? A stepping stone to what, Hubert? Oh, Regina, it was just a rhyme. Uh -huh. You see, the only other word I could think of was overgrown. <laughs> and I know how sensitive you are about your weight. Hubert, I will have you know I am not fat. I simply retain water. Ladies and gentlemen, Lake Superior. <laughs> Put us both together. We've got it all, the melody, the harmony, St. Peter and St. Paul. All we need is Mary and we've got a singing group. Every Tom and Dick and Harry is a Mary in this troop. Sister Mary Thomas, Sister Mary Richard, Sister Mary J. Black, Sister Mary No, Sister Mary Martin, Sister Mary Pickford, Sister Mary Kate and Ashley, hey, we're on a roll. Sister Mary Hartman, Sister Mary Astor, Sister Mary Widow, Sister That's a Wrap, Sister Mary Poppins, Sister Mary Christmas, Sister That's Enough of This Merry Crap. Just a couple of sisters in what you'd call their form who've come to entertain you by singing up a storm. Swanee, how I love you. Just a couple of sisters, plain as we can be. Just a couple of sisters who discovered harmony. Since you guys are the first guests and you guys just you know, knocked us out there with your performance, <laughs> you guys get to play Would You Rather. Would you rather? 
kind of scary, isn't it? Very. Uh -huh. All right, would you rather, now this goes to both of you, always have to wear cowboy boots on the wrong feet, or, I think I kind of know this one, women's three-inch heels. <laughs> cowboy boots. Yeah, cow <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, I'm prime, I'll do the cowboy boots, I'll cut the toes off or something. Jerry? Oh, I like the pumps. There you go, okay. <laughs> All right, now, now, a lot of you guys don't know Paul. Thanks for being here. Paul comes in and he does our voiceovers for the night shift uh, every week. Paul, if you can just give us the, uh, from the city with the heart, one time and then we'll recognize who Paul is. From the city with the heart. There we go. It's the night shift. All right. All right, now great performance, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank and, you. and tell me a little bit about, uh, about the production. Uh, Nonsense I Men. Sure, Nonsense was written about 20 years ago. It was an off-Broadway show. It's been running in millions of theaters since the day it first opened, and they've had several different incarnations of it, and one of the recent, most recent ones is Nonsense Amen. It's basically the same show that they opened with 20 years ago. They just recast it with men. <laughs> well, I just turn it up a notch. <laughs> yeah. Or down. Right. Well, yeah, it depends on how you look at it. <laughs> now, you guys, uh, when are you guys in production right now? Can pe people come out and see this production? We're not really in production. We're uh, we're participating in a festival. Oh wow! I came prepared. Sure, there we go. Let's get a. <laughs> we prepared the show specifically to enter into the Indiana State Community Theater Festival. Right. That's the next thing I was going to because you guys are winning awards for this thing now, aren't you? Paul, tell me a little about that. Yes, we won the Indiana State Community Theater Festival, and by doing that, we're in the right to go to the Midwest Community Theater Festival. We won that. And in two weeks, we will be going to the National Community Theater Festival. Thank you. Thank you. Very impressive, yeah. Okay, and and so uh, now, how long have you been acting, Paul? You've been you're doing a lot of stuff around the community in different uh, productions. Uh, in and around Michigan for about the last 17 years. Right. Something you wanted to do as a kid? The uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Right. But Jerry is a uh, much older hand at it than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, how long have you been acting? Uh, since high school. Yeah, yeah. just got caught the bug then? or Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, tell me about the, the River, I got it right, River City Family Theater. Go ahead. Go after you. Uh, <laughs> River City Family Theater is kind of a gypsy theater. We don't actually have a theater. We've performed at different places, the Battelle Center and other places, the Ben Dix in South Bend. Is and that, we put the show together, like I said, specifically for this competition. Right. So you guys don't actually have a theater, but you guys kept kind of improvise where you're practicing stuff. Like <laughs> yeah. That. Is that? Oh, very much so. In fact, uh, most of our rehearsals for this production were in my family room. <laughs> and then just last week, our accompanist, we were in her backyard. Mm. <laughs> the neighbors thought it was strange. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> now you guys in full garb when you, when you guys practice? The, no, no, oh, okay. no, 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 thank God. That would have no. been, the cops would have been called on that one probably. <laughs> or a priest or somebody. Right, that's true. Now, do you, how long does it take you guys to get all done up like this? Me, uh, half hour. Right. Yeah. About that. Okay. All right, well, what's coming up next for you guys? You guys are doing, going to the, the um, contest here. Yes. And, and so what's, what's coming up for you guys next after Nonsense of Men? Uh, well, there is the possibility that if we do well at the Nationals, we will get an invitation to an international festival. Oh. And so um, we'd like that to happen. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll let you know in two weeks uh, how we do. Well, guys, I want to thank you very much for coming out. The performance was great. And, uh, uh oh, what's this? This is just a little something that uh, we like to give out to our friends. It really doesn't work, but it makes <laughs> them feel better. Oh, it's a uh, covenant just get out of hell free card. <laughs> I'll use that, trust me. Thank you very much, guys. Now, did you see the three ring binders out there? Yes. Yeah, all right. Well, Kelsey, you back out there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we're here. You okay, it, yeah. it, it's, it's turning dark. Is oh, it look, raining, Kelsey? I got Kels? an umbrella, but our contestants don't. Come okay. on out here. Well, we might not be able to see, but Kelsey will be able to tell us we're down to two contestants here. Yeah, we have two contestants, and uh, they're, of course, going for the grand prize, which we're not going to tell them what that is. But are you ready for us to get going and go ahead and toss? Yes, let's go ahead, and, and this is the championship okay. round. We're going to get our winner here. It's We're going to have her dark. go first. Well, we don't care. It's live. We're going to have fun. I'll describe the fight since you can't see it, probably. Okay, well, we can see that. It's out there. It's going oh, oh, nice spin. Nice. And some shot there. At a distance. At a distance. 
Okay, one, we got one more contestant here. Oh, I'm getting oh, she's serious. taking her jacket off. She getting means serious. business. I'd like to see her do a couple twirls like they do with the discus. Can she do that? A couple twirls to improve the distance? Yeah. I don't know. It's wet out here. Okay, yeah, we don't want her to fall, so just let's heave it here. Oh! Wow! And again... Not quite enough. Not quite enough. Come on over here. Okay, so what's your name? Janet. Janet, you look vaguely familiar. Jason's my son. I, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Okay, well, well Jason, we're, we'll, uh, we'll show her her prize later in a little bit when we come back. All right, thanks, Kelsey. That was our three-ring binder toss to signify the end of the school year. All right, we heard from them a little bit earlier on in the show, and now they're back for their first performance. It's, uh, they're from Logansport area. The band members include Mike Bouchaw on vocals, Steve Michaels and Jesse Michaels on lead guitar and rhythm guitar, and Danny Thir Theory, there he is on the bass, and they're going to be doing the song Dusty Road. It's River Road, everybody.
All right, that's River Road, everybody. They got another performance coming up later in the show, so you'll want to stick around from that. But I just wanted to mention this. We recently did a live show up at the wonderful Acorn Theater in Three Oaks, Michigan, and we got to talk with Rock 107 WIRX DJ Shelly Morgan, and she talked about what they're doing this summer up there. Uh, so just here, take a look. Well, thanks for coming out. Welcome. It's a pleasure Thank you for having you. Me. Yeah, well, no problem at all. Now, you're, did I make, is it The Rocker or is it Rock 107? It's Rock 107. W I R X. You, know, you can say The Rocker if, that's, if it if makes you feel happy. Do you have to say it low like that yeah, and you do a little yeah, growl yeah, in there? Yeah, sure. Now, how long have you been a DJ? Um, a really long time. Really? Now, yeah. You, You've been, now am I, am I right? You've been a DJ down in South Bend I was also? I South Bend, yeah. I've, I've been at, uh, at Rock 107 for um, almost six years. I was at WAOR in South Bend for seven years. I've been doing this since 1982. Wow. And why? What is it about it that... Um, it's not a real job. Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, what do I get to do? I get to walk into a studio, I get to play the music that I love, You're right. and I get to talk to people. Wow. Now, have you ever had or gone to a radio job, you had to take it to where the music wasn't what oh, yeah. you wanted to? And actually, at the beginning of my career, um, I did, I worked in Top 40 radio, okay. kind of like U93. Sure. Um, and the, because I'm so old, but the older I got, the more that music was not my music. And that's when I moved back here and started to work at AOR. Um, and now the type of music, WIRX, that's, the, you guys are just rocking, right? We're, um, if you want to talk in radio terms, we're a mainstream rock station. We play classic rock and we play um, songs, hits from like newer bands like Nickelback and Three Doors Down, but you know, we played Zeppelin and right. ACDC and Van Halen and Leonard Skinner too. What you guys got lined up for this summer? Um, well, um, as far as bands and stuff are concerned, we're always involved with um, Venetian Festival. Mm. Um, this summer Venetian Festival is uh, doing stuff a little bit differently. They've always had the big beach stage down on the Whirlpool Field um, and since uh, that's not going to be available in the next right. couple of years. They're going to do some development down near Silver Beach. They're moving concerts over to Shadowland Pavilion. So they're putting tickets up for sale and actually you can buy tickets, um, individual seats uh, for the Friday night show which is Ario Speedwagon. Ooh, very nice. Great classic rock band. They're coming and they're going to do a 20th, I think it's a 20th anniversary, maybe it's 25th anniversary of High Infidelity their biggest album ever. They're going to play every single song off the oh, album. Wow. In order? In, I think in order, that's too. That's cool. And because that's the way you know them. And uh, then they're going to do a big hit after that. Um, on Saturday night on the Shadowland Pavilion stage, um, American Idol Josh Grayson is going to be wow. here. Wow. Now, is so, he really an American Idol? I mean, I've seen some of them. So. He, well, he wasn't one of the, well, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. You saw yeah. some. There's an American Idol, yeah. everybody. He wasn't one of the winners. Right. But, um, but he was like the closest thing to a country um, oh, okay. artist that they had. And so he's going to be playing you know, country music on the Shadowland Pavilion stage. And then on Sunday afternoon, Collective Soul is playing. Oh, very so, nice. So uh, we're really excited to be able to present both of those shows. So you guys are there every night, and you guys get to introduce and meet all get these people? Get to introduce them and meet them and schmooze and hang out with the rock stars backstage, which you know really isn't as fun as it used to be. Really? Oh, no, because they're all old now. <laughs> and, they're, they're, and, you know, and, and, and um, Kevin Cronin, is the lead singer for, for REO Speedwagon, is Mr. Health Nut, and they jog, and, you wow. know, they're not, they're not drinking and stumbling around drunk anymore. And so, I mean, <laughs> that's good for them, but as far as, you know, anybody who thought, oh, it'd be so great to go backstage, and, it's so boring to go backstage <laughs> now. Tell me about this. You guys are doing, if I get this right, you have this summer the muscle car giveaway? Yeah, we do a screaming yellow muscle car every single year. Um, what our, our um, bumper stickers 
for a billion years have been the screaming yellow sticker. Right. And uh, then when we decided to get a new station vehicle, we got a screaming yellow Hummer. So if you go to WIRX.com, you see pictures of the Hummer. And um, starting uh, in a couple of weeks in June, we'll give away, I believe it's a 70 Chevelle Whoa. that we haven't quite restored, but we've taken it from its, the, the way we got it right. from some guy in Ohio that we found on eBay and uh, painted it yellow with some racing stripes and souped it up under the hood. And it's, it, every year we do a, a muscle car. This will be the sixth year. And so I become this car chick in the summer. <laughs> Guys walk up to me, so what's under the hood? And right. I actually know the answers to that. It's the funniest thing. So now uh, that's going to be given away. They can check the WIRX website. Sure they can, can listen to the station oh, and find out all the, the information. Station. Well, time slipped away here, oh. Shelly. Yeah, we're all done. Um, but tell us one more time when they can listen to you every day. I'm on uh, Monday through Friday, 2 to 6 on Rock 107, 107.1. Well, we appreciate you coming by here Thank tonight. You. Thank you for helping us kick off the third season. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. We had a, yeah. We had a really good time up there at the Acorn Theater. We want to thank Ken Clark and David Fink for letting us come on up there. And if you've never been to a show up there, you want to get up there. they got stuff going on almost every weekend, so just uh, check them out. They, they really have a good thing going on up there. All right, well, we, we've uh, got a little extra bonus round right now. We're going to go back out to Kelsey at the three-ring binder toss. You out there, Kelsey? Yeah, yeah, we're out here. And first thing we got to do is take care of some business. And so we got the prizes for our winner. And here we go, we got a can of cream corn, which with two hits, it sp splatters pretty well. It does. Yeah, and then we've got, uh, we've got a lint brush, of course. Thank you so very much. All right, so there's our big winner. Okay, you can go ahead and have a seat and enjoy the rest of the show. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to invite the, the nuns and, and our best fan right here. We got him back uh, to take a turn at it. Oh, so, good. Uh, See, we I'm didn't lose our the, biggest the fan there. There he is. Okay, so we and got the two of nuns. Of course, ladies first. You ready, Jason? Yes, this is going to be something. I'd like to see these nuns toss a three-ring binder. Right, okay, you ready? Here we go. As far as you can, out that way. Whoa, there we oh, go. Got distance, good distance. <laughs> got the rotation going, throws, throws like a girl. Yeah. <laughs> People are being offended here, okay. Whoa! Wow, now that's what we like to see. see. I didn't think it stuck together well enough. Okay, we got one more. And the spin. <laughs> There's our fan. <laughs> and the winner! Okay. All right. Okay, right here. Well, so, he... so are you our uh, fan still? Jason, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> there you heard it, Jason. Uh, that, that's all from here. <laughs> all right. Well, see, so you're going to want to come down to the studio on Thursday night. You're going to be a part of that. We're going to have contests and stuff like that all summer. But back once again, it's a river road, everybody. <laughs>
Yes, River Road guys, sounding great. Thank you very much. And also, I'd like to thank Paul Hampton and Jerry O'Boyle. They're from the River Family, River City Family Theater. Once again, they're having a performance on Sunday, June 12th, and that's going to be at the Sixth Street Theater in Goshen. You'll want to check them out. I was just looking at this. They just pointed this out to me. The three-ring binder was filled with night shift flyers. So how's that? I don't know. All right. Well, also, I'd like to thank. Shelly Morgan from WIRX and Rodney Jernis, we want to wish you all the best. Thanks for everything that you've done for all of us. We'll see you next week, and good night, everybody. Night Shift has been made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. You have been watching a WNIT local production.